Hey, Coach, after the game, players really seem to uh, be accountable for their actions. How much of a step in the right direction is that for, you know, this team, especially coming after a loss? I think that's really important um, for everyone. Um, everyone takes credit when we win, and I think when we lose, we all should uh, take credit for that that loss. And our guys showed that the other night, and coaches and players, and that shows you that it means a lot to them, and um, that losing sucks. And and when when the guys feel that way, you you get excited because you know they're gonna go out and work to see to it that those things don't happen again you know so um our guys understood what we did wrong and and that they can't have and we got to be better at those those things and it's great for them to see that and, and own up to it afterwards and I say we all had a part in that so um we all can work really hard to, to get it right all right Jerry. hey coach uh <clears throat> should we take royce freeman's comments with a grain of salt about being unfocused and unprepared mentally just maybe because he was so disappointed in the loss, or do you agree that, that you guys came out unprepared and unfocused mentally? Um, I wouldn't say um, unprepared. You know, I thought our guys were prepared. Again, I just didn't think we played sharp. We didn't play like we had been playing on the offense side of the ball. Um, again, those mental mistakes, those are uh, things that can be corrected and um, I can say I, the energy on the sideline wasn't what it been in the past and um, again I put that on me I didn't put as much emphasis on that in the week at, like I had been in the, in the prior weeks you know and our football team is is not to the stage where they just do it all the time we got to continue to stress the message and how important it is to have the, the energy on the sideline and and um, the entire game you know, I think that's important but um, again I don't I think you take um, Russ' comments and run with it. I think if more than anything, you probably should ask Russ what he meant by that. You know, not not run with it. I don't think he meant anything uh, malicious. But whenever you play like that, you ask yourself, uh, were you focused or uh, prepared? And I think our guys were prepared um, uh, for them to come back and take the lead in that game. Um, guys knew what to do. It was just, again, executing. We didn't execute well at all. You had to play much of the game without Hodgkins. How do you feel about the depth at, at inside linebacker right now? Um, I mean, coming in, we knew um, we didn't have a lot of depth at a lot of position, you know. But, um, again, when someone go down, the next guy got to step up and, and be, re be ready to play, you know. We're not going to sit around and cry with spoiled milk, you know, the next guy up. And that's why we always constantly talk to our guys about being ready for that opportunity. You never know when it's going to come. And um, it's on you as an individual to be ready, you know, so, um, and I think our guys are starting to see that as, as guys go down, I, uh, I better make sure I, I practice well and, and be ready to go for my opportunity. All right, Ryan. Willie, uh, Jalen Jelks is a guy who's flashed talent over the years, hasn't always been able to stay healthy. Is he close to kind of putting it all together? I think he is. I think each week he, he's getting better and better. Um, and, and I mean, I've been really impressed with his toughness, you know, because um, he's been getting beat up. You know, he's not the biggest guy, and he's down in the trenches, but he he fights his tail off, and um, he showed what he's capable of doing. And like I say, each game he's made improvements. And uh, I thought Saturday uh, was kind of like his coming out party, kind of showing this is the level that I can play on, and now we just need for him to con continue to play that way. Coach, only one carry each for uh, Ben Wamberg, Shane. Is that something you wish you could have called more plays for, or was it the situation that, that dictated that? Well, I think it was the situation. Um, we were down 31-14 um, there. Um, we were down um, pretty much the, the entire game until that late there in the, in the fourth. Um, but I think it was more the situation, and, and again, us not converting on third down, which allows us to extend drives. Uh, we didn't do that, you know, and, and we were really good on third down the first three ball games, and then we – um, didn't get those possessions that we we needed. We didn't have um, a lot of time on on from time of possession standpoint. And again, I think we only ran sixty some plays the week before. We had ninety some. So um, I think all that had something to do with it. a big part of it. we didn't convert to allow us to have more plays. 